right ladies and gents back on the sunny course of the northeast in Sunderland I'm gonna just say apologies if I seem a little bit enthusiastic I've literally had to force myself to come today I'm very ill not through alcoholic means or anything like that I just caught a bug um, at the and I think last week and it's just getting worse as the weeks went on um, joined today by a very special guest for the first time my little brother oh Jack hiya what are you looking forward to the game like me yeah what do you think the score is gonna be three three nil to us three nil to Sunderland yeah you think it'll be a good game or yeah a hard game easy game easy easy yeah all right Hi. good lad look at his hat there he's, he's collecting the badges some boy, aren't you? Yeah. So yeah, joined today by the young one. Um, hopefully, get a good result. Um, I'm feeling very, very ambitious about this squad at the minute. I think something special seems to be happening at the club. We just have mint players all over as well. We have so much depth, depth in the squad. Um, I still think we've yet to see the best out of the new guys as well like our Cheech here if that's how you say his name that's how I say it um, Burstow looking for his first goal and Rusin now that is an interesting man I'm very very interested to see what he has to offer for the team supposedly he likes playing on the on the left and sort of moving in but with Jack Clark I mean nobody's going to get ahead of Jack Clark in this team let's be honest um, but I would like to see him play in a central role up front I know Burstow's to be fair to Burstow he's been playing cracking um, his first touch and everything's mint he just needs that goal to get him off the mark and I think once he gets that goal the confidence will just be breeding high um, <clears throat> yeah so I'm thinking it's just going to be a nice nice 2 nil victory to the boys um, Hopefully Burstow, if he does start, gets his first game. Um, and we're just going to go to the club shop, see if we can uh, get ourselves anything. You never know. You never know, do you, Jackie boy? Nah. All right, we'll see you're in there. Oh, as well, sorry, I kind of just... I wanted it, I don't want to miss this off because I feel, feel like it's very important. The support that I've been getting on the videos lately is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, some of you guys been saying they just they look forward to the, the videos so much. I know it does take us sometimes a couple of days to um, get the edits done and stuff like that. I am going to try and make it a little bit quicker, but given that I'm going into me last year of uni, like it is a little bit hard sometimes. Um, but I do try and get it done as quickly as possible. But, you know, it is you guys that obviously, you know, spur me on and make me want to do it that little bit more quicker. Um, especially when I'm getting such nice comments like, you know, keep up the good work, everything like that, you know. So thanks, thanks to everyone who comments, who likes the videos, even anybody who just watches it. Um, I really, really appreciate the last two the last two videos that we've put on a banged. Um, so, thank you very much. <laughs> That's all I wanted to say. Cheers. Hello. Oh, look at that beauty. What do you reckon? Beauty. Beauty at all. Red and white beauty. Here in the club shop, quite busy today. Gonna go and see if we can treat the boy. Uh, what size are you, Jack? Right, do you want a big fitting or not? Um, I always get a size up. Yeah, I'll get us a big fitting. Right. So ain't a four in there. Try to... Sorry, man. <laughs> Can you try that on? Yeah. So that fit. Go on the boy. Oh, 
So I've got to take the hat off now. <laughs> Where's me as a mom? Now, uh, well, all right, Phil. Uh, and I've got a seen the price on them. You get a men's cheaper. It's not as good. I thought it was twenty-three. My, I'm getting dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was cheaper. You sure? Are you sure that's the right size, uh, or do you want to see if you can get a bigger one? I've got a top on me, haven't I? So uh, this will be the right size. Perfect. Do you want it? Yeah. There Please. you go, no worries. There you go. Two tops on lag, on order. What do you say? Thank you. <laughs> Not the main one. You say fuck the mags. Fuck the mags. <laughs> right. I think I'm looking good in the new top. Didn't have nowhere else to put it apart from. I had to put it over my jumper so everyone can see. And the boys looking good. Joined here today. By Josh Bunton. The famous man. <laughs> How do you think the game is going to go out there, Josh? Yeah, I think it's going to be a tough game. I think Cardiff are obviously sort of like something at the minute. They're on form, they're coming in with confidence, they're coming in with momentum. I think I watched the game last weekend against Swansea in, yeah. in the Derby and I was I was impressed by Cardiff, yeah. especially down the sides. Ollie Tanner I thought was excellent. <laughs> no Aaron Ramsey today. Um, so yeah, we found, we've just found that out. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm happy with that. I thought, you know, Dan Neal, it was going to be a big test for him. Obviously, yeah. up against Ramsey, the experience in there. I think yeah. Dan Neal's been superb so far this season. Seeing that, I'm a bit more confident going into the game mm -hmm. at home. I think Sullivan will take a three points today. Yeah. I really do. But I think Carter's phys physicality, Yakumete, yeah. now have those players who are so strong. And we know Sullivan, we, we do struggle yeah, at yeah, times yeah, against yeah, those yeah, sides. Do, yeah. But with obviously Ballard in there, I mean, mm -hmm. There's, there's a lot more confidence in me from that, so yeah. yeah, I think the lads will win today. I really do. Good, good. That's what we love to hear. Who do you think is going to score first? I'm going to go Job. Yeah. Job. Job. Go Job. Yeah. This this man here, this man here, flies all the way over from fucking Ireland every single time. What a fucking man! What dedication! Absolute brilliant fan. Yeah, what a club! Absolutely <laughs> love this place, huh? <laughs> What a what a guy Josh Bunton is. I've just had to drop our jack off in a different turnstile. Now I'm going to walk to mine and then walk all the way along to get him. Bit of a nightmare. But yeah, Josh Bunton. Man coming all the way from Ireland, man. It's mint. Uh, it's pro I just think the dedication on some fans is absolutely ridiculous. And his footballing knowledge is out, out of this world. Like, obviously, you've just heard what he's had to say. He's just rhyming names off left, right, and centre. You know. I just look at teams and go, oh yeah, I think we'll win, I think we'll do this, I think we'll do that. <laughs> you know, it's just it's just class. I love to see it and I love fans like that. So, he's so dedicated to his football. I mean, he actually does match day vlogs as well over in Ireland. Um, so if you can, go and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Um, it is, I believe it is called Into The Net, but I might be wrong on that one. I'll, I'll get back here on that. I'll have a, I'll have a quick look. Um, but yeah, so we'll get in, we'll go and get our jack and we'll get up to the seats. I think that's Adji up there with uh, Danny and Collins. Danny and Collins? Danny Collins and Frankie Francis. What an adji lad. Speaking, what a guy. What a team, man. I had the sermon of cherry. You had a what? A sermon of cherry. <laughs> sermon of cherry? Sermon of... Sermon of cherry? Yeah. What's a sermon of cherry? I eat yeah, vodka. I mean, well, you had a vodka? <laughs> no. Nah. Nah. <laughs> I don't condone underage drinking unless it's my family. <laughs> <laughs> I can't 
can't say it to fucking get rid of you, can I? <laughs> hey! Game. Ah, no, yeah. we're not there. And now I'm here for the terrible. Oh, he hasn't done it? Oh, it's a great ball in his mouth. Why didn't you already kick it there? I didn't know. <laughs> but it's just a bit difficult. We're a physically imposing team, so um, yeah, see you in the second half. Lovely, well, what a fucking time. Go on.
I did say I've got a bad feeling about this. That's fucking... It's just been one of them games. It's one of them games where you need to win them. That's, that's, this is what we struggled with last year. We couldn't beat the teams that we should be beating. We battered them there. I mean, we could have been 2 3 nil up. We should have been in the first half, I think. Um, so we couldn't take our chances. Just didn't fall to us right. Didn't happen. What happens though, but that is the issue. Last year, we couldn't kill games off like this. And that's what prevented us from probably going up. Um, so we need to adapt, we need to learn. We are a big physical side, so it was always going to be difficult, but it is what it is. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, um, and I'll see you in the next one, Chef Wedge, hopefully on Friday.